Okay, now in this video, what we're going to do is set this section up where it says furnish and install the following skylights. And what we're going to do is make this where it auto populates these rows based on what the sales rep selected in the estimate. So if they selected zero skylights, well then this section would just be ignored completely and not printed on the document. If they added one skylight, it will look just like you see here. If they added three skylights, well then it will have three rows, um, for, for e one for each line item. And then it will pre-populate the thumbnail. It will also pre-populate all of the details and we'll make it populate the quantity. So the first thing we wanna do is add a little bit of blank space in between our job specification section and then add another section to put all the skylight rows in. So what I'm gonna do is come over here. Um, actually, let me uh, use my empty space. Hold on, let's come here. Let's just go ahead and add the section and then I'll copy paste here, copy and oops. paste above. Okay, so there's our empty space and I think this was called, we'll just do furnish and install skylights. Okay, now what we want to do is link um, all of the items that we want to be uh, populated in this section. So if I click on this section, you have to make sure you're on the section and not a row. So it's a little bit different. You see here where the two are. This is a section, this is a row. So let me change the name of this so we know what we're working with. So we're actually going to just change the skylights. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go into settings and you see when you click on a section, so if I have a click on a row, you'll see I can link measure sheet item, a singular item. But if I click on a section, I can link multiple items. So if I click link measure sheet items and I come over here, I, you click on your category, I want to scroll down and link all of my skylights, every single one of them. Which basically says anytime one of these skylights are added to the estimate, create any of the line items that are in this section and auto link them. Remember how we linked the items here um, underneath of settings and we linked them one-on-one -on -one and we we're able to use these placeholders? Well, when you link them at a section, what the app will do is create any of the line items that are in that section and auto link them to the line item that created it. So what I wanna do now is change this cell to what we call a detailed image line item. And what that does, if, oops, a detailed image line item is a bigger cell. And if you see here, this is a detailed, it's one row, but it has multiple details in it. So everything we worked with before was just a title and a value. It was just a one-to-one -one relationship. This is gonna be a one-to-many relationship. It's one line item with many different details that go inside of it. So I change it to a detailed image line item. Um, we'll make our image, actually, let me come in here and drag a detailed line item to it. And let's click on it and make it a image picker. Good. And then I can click into that cell. We can make the image a little bit bigger. I'm going to delete the title. Okay, so now this is going to be, um, we wanted the name of the skylight, right? So the name of the skylight comes, let me go back to the price guide, I'm gonna scroll down, and you'll see I want whatever it says here to pop over, and you see that's the name column. So let me look at this documentation, and we'll go, It's a, uh, that's on a blue row, I believe it is. So we're gonna use the measure sheet items, and we're going to pick the name right here. Let's go back to the contract. And since it's, it will already be linked, I can just use that placeholder and that will be replaced with the name oops, of the item. Okay, right here. So now Let's look at what else we have, the 15 year warranty. Okay, so now there's nowhere on here that says 15 year warranty. And if 
I expand this down, there's nowhere here. There's no brand. There's no name. So where does the 15-year warranty come in? Maybe there's a different warranty on each one of these. Maybe the more expensive ones have a lifetime warranty. The cheaper ones have, you know, a 10-year warranty. So we have where you can make your own placeholders. So if you see here, these are ones that come out of the box that allow you to reference all the different values that you can type in here. But if you need your own, such as a warranty, well, I can click this little arrow button and we can put a, a new placeholder on this. So I'm going to go into um, this one and we're going to hit add and I'm going to go to warranty or uh, placeholder. We're going to make it up. And we're going to make this one say 10 year, 10 year warranty and hit done. And uh, we can actually take this and copy placeholders and paste them to here. And I can click on this and say 20. And actually, no, we'll, do, we'll make this, uh, we'll paste and replace. So both of those will say 10, which is fine. And we'll make these vented ones, we'll make these vented ones say lifetime. Let's go in here. So you want to make sure the placeholder always stays the same. So I can use this placeholder for any of these skylights on the contract, but the value is what's going to be different for each one. See here, I'm just pasting this lifetime warranty into each one. Make sure it's right. Yep, yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and save all. Internet's being a little slow. There it goes. Okay, so now let's go over to contracts. And for the um, value of this name, go into settings. Oops. Oh, that's our image picker cell. We don't want that there. Let's get rid of this and drag in a new cell. Now, when you when you're dragging line items to a detailed image line item, you can't use a standard line item. So it thinks you're just adding another row. You actually have to, have to use a detailed line item so you can drag it within this section, within this one line item. So I'm going to put this, actually put that right here. Now this blank, like I don't want anything on this because this is actually referencing that picture cell. I'm going to leave that just like it is. Come over here and we're going to do percent name. And then we're going to put our percent warranty. Okay, now let me go back and we have quantity and then the quantity. Okay, so let's add one more. Leave it as quantity. And then if I go look at my um, rows, you see we have quantity that we can bring over. Okay, now let's save this. So again, just to recap, what's going to happen is any in this section, I have linked six items, which are all skylights. Anytime any one of those six skylights are added, the, the cell that is inside of that section, and if you had multiple cells, it would create multiple. It will do one for each line item that's added. It's going to create one of these cells and then uh, link the measure sheet item that 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 was added and then fill in all these placeholders with the details from that measure sheet item we needed a warranty placeholder so we went ahead and created that in the price guide so now that it's saved let's go over to the ipad and let's hope this works so i'm going to go ahead and refresh the price guide make sure it downloads all those new placeholders okay that looks good now what we're going to do is add a skylight so um it looks like i only have one that is added in this office, so I might have to go back and add it to another one. Let's just make sure this one works. Hit that, we should scroll down, and here we have a skylight. Now the only thing that isn't there is the thumbnail. So let me see if that shows up. When we do the PDF. Okay, it does. 
So there's our skylight. So now let me go link some more skylights to this office in the price guide. And then I'll show you how multiple ones will show up. So let's go back over here. Price guide. And we're going to. Alright, looks good. Now let's go back to the iPad. Let's try this one more time. So, here's all my skylights. Now I'm going to add a quantity of four of these, um, two of these, and one of these. Okay, now remember, we made the non-vented ones only have a 10-year warranty, and the vented ones have a lifetime warranty. So when I click Done, go in the Contracts. Okay, here's all of our items in that particular cell. Let's see here. Maybe I need to make the, the thumbnail bigger. Let's look at my document tree. Let's give this a title. Oh, there we go. Okay. So there's our thumbnails. And let's fill this out. Okay. So you see here, there's our, our details from each skylight. Thumbnails are on there. Whoops. And uh, there's our quantity from each one. And you see the one that's not vented, it says 10 year warranty. The ones that are vented says lifetime warranty. And when I click next, my document document is generated with all the skylights that are on there. Now let's I don't want those stripes on there. So I don't want the cells to be shaded. So I'm going to come back here, click on the section, go in the setting, shading style, none. Save it and try one more. All right, looks good. Flip it, it goes to that one. Now, what do we have left? Okay, there's additional details disclosures. So what I'm gonna do is pause this video, and then when I come back, we'll add these disclosures, and um, probably add, uh, we'll do a signature line at the bottom.